Everybody, this is a real treat because my next guest was the front man for the legendary group Van Halen. And it's one of the most iconic singers of the 80s. Since then, he's been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's become a restaurant and a spirits mogul, and he's here to share a recipe from his cookbook. Are we having any fun yet? Please welcome Sammy Hagar. Woo! That dude over there. <laughs> <laughs> that dude over there, oh, man. Quite the introduction, what a great Steve. Group, man. How you been? I've man? been good. I've been on a book tour, and you know it's kind of different than when you're on a rock and roll tour. You know, playing every night. I'm signing autographs all day, and doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, man. But you, you know, I, I was talking to him before. He said, "Man, I'm a little nervous on TV." Can't help it. But, I said, <laughs> but you know what? See, from my years of stand up, I, I don't care what the cameras are doing. I only play to the audience that's here. And then the people at home, they get to capture me just the way I really am. You've been in front of stadiums, man, stadiums, so just act like them cameras ain't here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Get them out of here. He said, okay. No, cool. I'm fine. I, I'm always nervous on TV. Yeah. You know, it's like you got one shot, you know, you, you know, and all that, but it's all Well, I'd be that. nervous if I had to sing and play an instrument in front of See? everybody. So I'd See? See, now you know. Everybody. <laughs> well, look, man, how, how'd you go from rocking to cooking? I was raised around a uh, grandfather that was a chef and tasted some of the greatest food ever made in my life when I was a little kid. My mom was a great chef. And I didn't realize it until I went on the road the first time in the 70s in Montrose. And all of a sudden, I had really bad food because I didn't have any money and I couldn't go to good restaurants. So I was eating really <laughs> bad food. Yeah. And when I went back home, I'm going, man, this is the way to live. But, we were doing farm to table, you know, garden. We had our own garden, yeah. our own chickens always, you know, and it was just the kind of food wow. that's popular today. So when I discovered that I knew that, as soon as I started making money in bands and stuff, I started a restaurant in Cabo Wabo in Mexico, and I expanded them. And, really? Yeah, and started a tequila and a started... company in Hawaii. I got 10 restaurants, and I love restaurants and cooking. I'm into it. When I go home after a hard day, I go straight to the kitchen, tell the kids and the wife, get out of here. <laughs> it's like my meditation. I dig it. Well, man, do they leave? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I was, I was going to, you know, I know the kids leave, but do the wife leave? No. no. Okay, cool. Long as I, okay, man, what are we making today? Well, this is it's called Wobbo Shrimp. I invented this dish in Mexico, and, and it's in all my Cabo Wobbo restaurants in Vegas and L.A. and uh, Lake Tahoe and Mexico. Originally, it was done with tequila, but I'm getting, since I made my rum, I live in Hawaii part-time, live in Mexico part-time, so I'm trying to fuse the two together so you use rum and make a rum drink instead of a margarita, and it works really, really good. It's like uh, infusing uh, Mexico with uh, Pacific Rim food. Really? Yeah, and it works. You'll see what I mean. All, all right, man. Eat, it's all the same. Well, so us, basically, you got, you got this um, shrimp that's been marinated in jalapenos, garlic, a little bit of onion, some rum, and a lot of lime. You, get it, you strain out that juice first, and then you take these things in a really hot pan with just a little bit of oil, and you want to put these shrimp in there. And I'm going to, you know, you want to use some of the, some of the, uh, that'll be enough for you and me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw another one in there in case you get, in case you really like it, Steve. Yeah. Turn them over. Almost like flat, fresh, no, yeah, you, you flash frying. Yeah, you don't quite cook them. See, this is the Pacific Rim side, too. You know how it's almost like Asian where they cook everything in a wok and bam, 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 and it's done. But you just turn these over, give them a little thing like this, and then... You take them out, because they're, they're almost cooked, but not quite. You gotta take them out, and you take all this marinade right there, and you put that in the pan. And actually, you need some, some more of the, of the little chunks, but uh, it'll be all right. So you let this cook down to about half. Mm -hmm. In order to get it to flambe, we gotta put, we're gonna have some, we're gonna put a little rum back in. So now when it's you know, really get cooking back up, you add this back in to finish the cooking side of it off, like this, and then, Hopefully, we'll get it to flambe. You know, if, if we don't, nobody gets hurt. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. Faulty equipment. Come on, now. Come on. No. No, it's got to... <laughs> <laughs> the alcoholics in the crowd want more uh, liquor. You don't have to do it, but the idea of flambe in it is that when the flame goes out, that's when it's done. So now we're just going to act like it's flaming. You know, I was going to give you a big toss and flame, but I can't do it. Yeah, we're going to put the flame in there. We're going to get us You going to do it? You going to get it going on there? Yeah, man. Oh, look at it! Oh! 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 Come on, baby. I got to see what you do. Man, ain't that... That's all you got to do. 
What the hell? I, what do you need me for? The audience said, Look at put this. some more liquor in it. Look at this. OK, now. Put some more liquor in it, Steve. That was in the script, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Try it now. He was trying to. <laughs> OK. That baby's probably pretty much done right there. You could cook it down just a little bit more, but you know, you throw these guys right. Now, I ain't much for presentation. You know, some people would put it down here, I guess. Well, let me do yeah, it. Make it look you all know, yeah, yeah, make people think I know what I'm doing. No, that ain't what they gonna know, do when they eat it. It's about how it tastes, not the way it looks, right? right? Pour look, a little bit of juice on it. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Now, hold on. Hold on now. What do you so you, gotta, you gotta pour a little bit uh -huh. of that skillet liquor on there. Uh-huh. That yeah, skillet liquor. Uh-huh. There it is. Gotta have Bang. some skillet That's liquor, it. man. Woo! Oh, but we gotta make a cocktail. You wanna straight go up? You wanna go oh, straight don't up? Worry, go ahead, make it. Yeah, let me, let me make you a cocktail. <laughs> so over here, <laughs> Steve and I are gonna be buddies for a long time after this. Yeah, okay. How you doing, man? So you uh, you take uh, in here we got like just hey, some, man, pi some pineapple right juice, some sour, and some orange caracol. And with Coconut water ice cubes. That's the lick. Coconut water ice cubes. You're healthy, you're getting your hydration, minute, and you're getting drunk at the same time. Cubes. Yes, sir. That's my lick. I invented that stuff. Oh, I never thought of so that. So now man. we're gonna pour some rum in there. Make sure we get Steve tightened up here for his next guest. <laughs> pour some more liquor in it. <laughs> okay. And uh <laughs> okay, then you put some coconut water ice cubes in there. You garnish it with whatever you want. I like a little orange and pineapple because it's all Hawaiian. I don't think I made enough, Steve, but hey, once again, enough right my here. skills. Because I drank his whole glass. No, no, you're not done. You're not done. No, there's one more say. step. There's one more oh, okay. step. No, one watch more this. Step, one more step. I was going to say, if Steve. I drink all that right there. No, Steve, you got to be now. Here's, show right here's here. where we're going to make it pretty. Here we go. Put some more liquor in it. You put the macadamia nut rum in there. This is the good stuff right macadamia here, baby. Nut macadamia rum? nut rum. Can we try that? Cheers. Go Thanks for having me on your show, anytime. brother. Anytime. And just so you know how to make it, everybody in the audience is going home with a copy of the At your service. At your service. At your service. Give it up 